Hi friends, today I'm going to be showing you how to prepare Peri Peri Corn Cheese Toast The standard really good friends I prepared this under few minutes, that's it It was very nice and tasty, very easy to prepare Let's look into the ingredients and get started I'll be using Peri Peri Masala Super Corn for this recipe This is very easy to prepare since it comes with the masala, this corn also cooks under 2 minutes. It's very easy to prepare. I've also finely chopped one large onion, chilies and capsicum and reserved it. I've grated about 1 cup of cheddar cheese and reserved. We can use regular white bread or wheat bread for this recipe. I'm using regular white bread for this recipe. I'm going to start preparing the masala. I've heated a wok with 2 tablespoons of oil on medium flame once the oil is hot I have added the chopped onions capsicum and uh, chilies I am going to fry the onions and capsicum till it softens a bit people who prefer extra heat can add chilies or avoid it since we prefer extra chili and we like extra heat in our uh, dishes I've added extra chilies and this is only going to be for adults now once my onion and capsicum has softened I've uh, transferred the corn along with the peri peri masala this corn cooks under 2 minutes friends very easy to prepare I've also added salt as per taste these are just the salt as per your preference I'm gonna fry it in case if there is any moisture, allow it to completely evaporate. Place it on high and allow it to evaporate. So under 2 minutes, my corn will get cooked. To tell you a little bit about uh, super corn, this is a very convenient pack friends. You can store it up to 9 months in the refrigerator. Because this is uh, having that oxy seal and it doesn't have any preservatives. That's the main part of this uh, product. They don't add any preservatives to their corn kernels. So the stores, even without refrigeration, this can be stored up to 9 months. So I really like this concept and I'm going to be preparing a lot of dishes using super corn. See under 2 minutes, my corn is ready, it's nice and puffed up. So I'm going to remove it from the flame and allow it to cool before I start preparing the toast. Now I've heated a pan on medium flame I'm just going to toast my bread slices to one side and I'm going to prepare as many bread slices as possible the same manner I'm going to reserve the bread slices so just toast it to one side slightly toast it to one side and reserve it because we'll be topping that uh, masala on the toasted side of the bread For regular updates, follow me on social media friends. I keep posting a lot of uh, pics on regular basis. What I keep preparing. So uh, you can follow me on my Instagram, Facebook or Twitter. All the links will be in the description box below this video. The, the same recipe is also posted in YouTube Tamil. So the Tamil channel link will also be in the description box below this video. Or you can click the icon above this video. Visit my blog for detailed recipe. Blog link will be in the description box below this video. Or you can click the i card above this video. It's very simple to prepare this toast. Just add 2 spoons of this corn masala to the toasted side of that bread. You have to top it with that corn masala. And then layer it with the grated cheese. If you have uh, cheese singles, use that. That's very easy. And uh, just for uh, appearance and for looks, we're just topping that cheese with corn again. So prepare as many slices as possible. It will be easy for you to toast later on. So we prepared about 10 slices of this uh, corn masala bread and we reserved it. So once uh, my bread slices are ready, I am going to start frying them in oil. So I have heated the same pan on medium flame. I have added oil to it, 3 tablespoons of oil. 
I'm going to toast three slices at a time. Now once my bread slices are ready, I've gone ahead and started to place it in that pan. So place the pan on low to medium flame and also allow the bread to evenly cook in the bottom. Don't place it on high. So just place it on low flame, allow it to cook on low flame. Now place a cover and allow the cheese to melt. Once the cheese has melted, my toast is ready. Recipe in detail is on my blog friends. Blog link as I told you before will be in the description box below this video or you can click the i card above this video. Now as you can see my bread has toasted evenly to the bottom and my cheese is also melted. Now at this point my bread is ready. I've gone ahead and served it. This is an excellent and economical snack for lunch or for tea time. Do give this recipe a try friends. If you like my video give me a thumbs up and subscribe to me for more videos also prepare this and post your comments i'll be seeing you soon with the next recipe video this is vidya lakshmi thank you so much for watching bye bye